Hey everybody, this is Russell Holly with Geek.com, and we are going to take a look at the developer preview for Android version L. This is the unreleased developer preview for the next version of Android, and as you can see, it comes with many new things, but we're going to start first with this new boot animation, with all the swirly dots that ends with the new Android logo, which is pretty cool. We can see here Android L, this is the new notification built into the lock screen, and this is just one of so many things that we're going to take a quick look at. This is the latest version of Android that's available in a developer preview for the Nexus 7 and the Nexus 5, and what we're going to do here is just a quick walk through some of the animations and the, the features that have been built into this preview. As you can see, it starts out to look mostly like Android as we know it, but we've got a new notification drawer that we pulled down twice on to access quick settings, but when in that quick settings, we can't swipe notifications away. Uh, so that's an important thing to, to notice. Uh, but you, you do that double swipe and you get these quick notifications for uh, you know mirroring your screen from a cast or adjusting your Bluetooth or you know your things like that. Uh, and the Chromecast setup doesn't work quite yet on our preview. It just came out today, so it's possible that the Chromecast uh, needs a, a separate update in order to start doing its thing. Um, but you can see opening applications is very fast, uh, swi swiping around in the operating system very fast. Uh, there you know, is no obvious problems with this developer preview so far. Here's the multitasking where Chrome gets uh, treated a little differently. The, the Google Plus and settings are all these kind of separate cards. Uh, and we have a new overflow animation. The overscrolling animation is kind of this, uh, this liquid paper that smudges around as you go and pull from side to side. Uh, but since we're here, we can also take a look at the new settings. Settings is so much better looking, uh, especially in a tablet where everything has got plenty of space to move around in. Uh, the new notification settings are a big part of this setup where we can control how notifications are shown on the lock screen. We have uh, you know, all kinds of settings here for what applications are allowed to show notifications and what kind of notifications they're allowed to show. And as more developers port applications, it's going to get a lot more useful uh, before the L launch. We have an official Do Not Disturb built into Android with all kinds of new features uh, that allow us to configure Do Not Disturb uh, for, for just so many different options uh, regarding when you want it to go off and how you want it to handle notifications, uh, including just straight up blacklists for certain applications. Uh, the new battery saver is built into the operating system and uh, we've got just a little tiny bit of control here for activating it immediately. You can see this is if you just want battery saver to stay on or if you want it to be available at a certain battery percentage where it just kind of kicks on automatically. Uh, and it, you know, it just, we have a new visual look to how the, the battery breakdown uh, functions here. Um, everything about the settings menu feels comfortable. You know, it's all the same stuff, but it all looks uh, very polished, very new, uh, and very much that material design uh, that we saw during the Google I.O. presentation. Uh, but going through the, the primary interface, you can see that it still looks and feels like Android. You've got those different navigation buttons down on the bottom, but there's nothing that's really uh, strikingly different about how you use any part of the operating system. Uh, the, the double swipe to the notifications really is the most significant thing and you know the ability to access uh, more detailed functions for the individual notifications and quick settings is a pretty big deal uh, especially a quick swipe for brightness control and to have the notifications just kind of pop up there as you go to use them uh, but again the notifications only work when you're not in the quick settings function uh, if you're in quick settings and you can't interact with the, the notification but You've got so many visual flourishes uh, in this version of the operating system so far. It's just really nice to see. Right up to the user icon in the notification panel to let you know who's using it. Uh, and then, of course, as we go through the About Tablet function, uh, we can see this is the, the, the card material design uh, for the, uh, the Easter egg that's usually there. Uh, it's, it's not a KitKat because they, they don't have a, an official function for L yet. Uh, but we've got developer settings unlocks in the exact same way 
the developer options we'll take a separate stroll through later on um, but uh, you know just uh, for safety's sake let's go ahead and turn on USB debugging and that's it this is the Nexus 7 running Android L thanks for watching